The road leads to Kanasawa, a charming major city renowned for its tradition of arts and crafts, plus its modern design culture. It's an interesting mix of the new and the old, really. I arrive late in a medieval district called Higashiyama, so naturally, the first thing I do is to get lost in its crazy maze of tiny old streets. Still, it's fair to say that getting lost in Kanasawa is quite the sensation, as you certainly feel thrown back a couple of hundred years. Or at least a dozen. All across Japan, you rarely find whole districts as well preserved as this, partly because Kanasawa was not hit in World War II. Turns out, these streets belong to the old Geisha district. A Geisha is more than just a mere entertainer. The title literally means professional of the arts. So to fulfill her job of keeping good company, a geisha is expected to dance well, sing well, play traditional instruments, recite classical poems, serve tea with style, and lots more. To cut it short, by gracefully performing traditional arts, a geisha keeps those traditions vivid and alive. Very well done. Anyway, finding a place to sleep right here and now is not a walk in the park. So let's take a shortcut to the real thing. Enter one of Japan's proclaimed most beautiful gardens, lying right next to Kanasawa Castle. This goodie is the former housing project of the Maeda clan, the very family who brought money and jobs to the city. At around 1590, when this castle was built, they had a famous friend who helped out a lot. A dude named Toyotomo Hideyoshi, a war hero and all-time celebrity, who did trivial things like unifying Japan. And here's him climbing a rock. Which reminds me, ain't that the guy behind my own little climbing adventure, leading up to that spot where he supposedly had a snack, like 500 years ago? Sheesh. As for the next site, famous Omicho Market. The very place to get the latest in seafood since 1720. As for the most stuff, you can keep it. Let's feast on the people. As I take the rest of the day off, I find Kanasawa to be the city of my romantic imagination. For starters, the atmosphere in the streets is always relaxed and friendly. And although the architecture is mostly functional and not that nice, it seems you're always just one step away from a completely different era. Here's the living quarters of some samurai. To tell the truth, here slept the lord. The samurai slept next door in a shack. Yes, pardon the lousy pun, but I do feel like a fish in the water around here. Tomorrow, however, it's gonna get dirty.